Violence continues on New York City's subway system. A man fighting for his life after police say he provoked another man on a train and was then shot with his own gun. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the harrowing cell phone video and the mounting frustration over safety on America's largest public transportation system. Close the door! Close the door! This was the terrifying moment passengers were sent scrambling, ducking for cover and screaming in horror after gunshots rang out inside this crowded downtown Brooklyn subway station. You hear, you hear pops, like, like three or four shots, pop, pop, pop. Then the doors open, everybody come flying out. Police say the chaos unfolded during the height of rush hour when a 36-year-old man who witnesses say was acting aggressively confronted a 32-year-old passenger. The tussle seen in this video, other commuters trying to break it up. Evidence has been uh, obtained, including an extended video uh, capturing a female uh, that was on the train apparently with the 32-year-old. It captures her uh, involved in the incident also. Police say the 36-year-old attacker pulled down a gun, but at some point, the other man got a hold of it and fired several shots, shooting him in the head. Authorities now say the gunman will not face charges. The district attorney says the evidence so far suggests he acted in self-defense. In transit, active shooter, 10, 10 shots fired in transit. The shooting comes just one week after Governor Kathy Hochul sent the National Guard to the subway system to help address crime on city trains. The NYPD today facing tough questions about safety and highlighting department efforts to crack down on fare evasion, saying the individual who started the brawl got on the train without paying. Oftentimes, we see people enter to the subway station looking to cause harm, and they never pay the fare. Meanwhile, the MTA says they're taking steps to improve security, including putting up more cameras inside the subway system, deploying trained mental health clinicians and metal detectors. As for the assailant who was shot, authorities say he's in critical condition. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.